Let's bring in new Jets tight end, Kenny Yaboa. Kenny, what was draft weekend like for you, and how many teams called you as soon as the draft ended? It was really exciting, honestly. I was looking forward to getting drafted. I mean, uh, it didn't happen, but I still got the opportunity, and that's all I'm grateful and thankful for to be here. I'm proud to be a Jet, and I'm just excited to go out and just be with my new teammates. I'm actually with Elijah Moore. He's here, too, for former Ole Miss with me, so I'm just excited. I mean, a lot of teams called me, and the Jets, it just seemed like the right fit and the perfect fit. New head coach, Coach Sala, and then new offensive coordinator and just a new system, so it just, it just really attracted me. Yeah, a new system under Mike LaFleur, and you just mentioned it. A lot of teams called you. What put the Jets over the top? And also, did it help that, hey, it's not too far away from where you grew up in Allentown, Pennsylvania? Yeah, so really it was just like the opportunity. I felt like the Jets would just be a great opportunity. Like I said, it's it's all everything is new. It's a new culture. They're starting to make a new brand for the Jets. So I just want to be a part of that, honestly. I mean, it was kind of like the same thing last year when I was at Ole Miss. They were not as good as they were the year before. Came in and just helped, like, we brand that new culture. So I'm hoping to do the same thing here. How would you describe yourself as a player at Temple? And then what happened last year at Ole Miss after you, after you transferred? Yeah, so at Temple, pretty much, I was more of like a blocker. Didn't catch very much passes like I did this past year at Ole Miss. So it was just exciting to be able to showcase my abilities as a pass catcher at Ole Miss. But I had, um, at both schools, I had fun. I mean, at Temple, I had so much fun playing for, I played for three different head coaches there. So playing in a lot of different systems. And then I got to play for Coach Kiffin, whose offense is real potent and go down the field and it's fast so it was just exciting to be able to play in a bunch of different systems and it'll help me at the next level you averaged nearly 20 yards a catch last year that doesn't happen for a lot of tight ends um sure lane kiffin got you out in the open field but uh, how did you contribute to that (laughs) it was just hard work honestly and just knowing what i wanted to do when i got there starting even before the season really just starting in january when i got there i was there until march and then COVID hit i went back home so even when i was back home just working on my craft again even faster out of breaks just working on speed working on my hands working on my block and so that was like a big key to everything just taking everything day by day trying to get better each day and not thinking too far ahead Kenny, what was your initial reaction when you got that Jets offensive playbook for the first time, and how much have you already been dialed in there? Oh, I've been dialed in so much. I've been meeting with the tight ends coach, Coach Middleton. He's a great guy. That's another thing that attracted me here during my pre-draft process, meeting with him and just, like, the relationship I could tell. It was just, like, a good relationship. So that's another thing that really attracted me here, and I've just been, like, studying the playbook hardcore, meeting with Coach Middleton, me with the assistant offensive coach, too. So just really just trying to dive in. And so when I go on the field, I could just execute and not even have to think. Uh, And Kenny, lastly, you mentioned it before. You were college teammates with Elijah Moore. What kind of teammate will he be here with the Jets? And also, what kind of player are the Jets getting? He's going to be everything the city wants, I promise. And that's on the field and off the field. He's going to be it. He's such a great person, and the thing that I admire most about him is that he gives all his thanks to God, and that's, like, real real big for me. And he's w- one of the best players I've ever been around, like, seriously. he He's a really extremely talented. There's some stuff that I learned from him to this day, and I'm just blessed to be here and be able to be around him. And he's I know he's going to make the team better. I know he's going to make the BBs better by how well he is at running routes and things like that, and I know he's going to help everybody and just be a great teammate. So I'm just excited to be here with him. I know – It's it's just going to be fun. I can't wait. I'm so excited. 